Okay, let's look at this. The last run we'll do for this review. Steam enters an adiabatic turbine steadily at 7 MPa, 500 degrees C, 45 meters per second. It leaves at 100 kPa, 75 meters per second. The power output of the turbine is actually 5 megawatts, and the isentropic efficiency, 77%, determine the um, mass flow rate and the temperature at the turbine exit. Okay, interesting. Uh, I like to do this, state one, right? Uh, 7 MPa, 500 degrees C, 45 meters per second. State two actual, 100 kPa, 75 meters per second. I don't know the temperature. I think that's what it's asking for. T2 actual, don't know. Uh, 2S, um... It's still operating to 100 kPa. Um, I don't know uh, anything else. I don't think so. All right. But if it is isentropic, so we haven't done much of the, I don't, well, we've done some of these. If it is isentropic for, for, steam or refrigerant for, you know, pure substances, uh, I could get the entropy S1 from right here, right, from the, the property tables, you know. This pressure, this temperature, is it superheated? Uh, go to the tables, find S6.800 kilojoules per kilogram K, and so that is the isentropic Entropy, it would be here at 6.800 kilojoules per kilogram K. Uh, while I'm at this property table, go ahead and, and denote the H13411.4. Kilojoules per kilogram. Um, from these two, the, I could look at that property table. All right, with that pressure and that S, uh, that entropy... Um, I could uh, get any other property. I could find the, the enthalpy. So H2S is 2466.6 kilojoules per kilogram. I don't think there's a K right there. Okay, this right here, uh, velocity is not a property, so I really don't have two properties per se, uh, to, um, to find that H2 actual. Uh, but maybe I can use the, the entropy, the efficiency, sorry, the isentropic efficiency in order to uh, figure this out. Okay, so here's, and I, I know you had a homework problem that had this, and I really should talk about this, teach this better in the notes. Uh, I've got an equation in my notes. The isentropic efficiency of a turbine is H1 over H2 actual. Actually, sorry, let me let me say. The isentropic efficiency of a turbine is work actual over work isentropic. And I said that usually it's H1 over H2 actual over H1 minus H2S. This is usually... All right, this is when we neglect everything else. This is when we neglected uh, kinetic energy. It told us these velocities, they're not very large. We probably could neglect it, but when it tells it to us, let's use it. So let, let's not say that this is equal to H1, H2A uh, over H1 minus H2S. Let's say it's equal to W over W isentropic because I was told this work actual five megawatts I was told this isentropic efficiency I can find the work isentropic maybe I can use that to you know find um, anything else uh, that, that we need okay so this is the equation I'm going to use isentropic efficiency 0.77 Work actual 5 megawatts, 5 megawatts, 
work isentropy. This is the work, this is the most work we possibly get out of this turbine. If we have the best possible turbine, the work, if it was isentropic, 6.494 megawatts. That kind of makes sense, right? We're getting five megawatts, but uh, it because it has an isentropic efficiency of 77%, uh, we really could maximum possible 6.494 megawatts all right so now it's what i always forget is i can i can use conservation of energy for these so i can use conservation of energy in order to find things like mass flow rate things um h2 actual right things that i can find but I need conservation of energy either of the isentropic case or the actual case. And I'll, I'll be clear all the way through the work actual, the, you know, H actual um, throughout the problem. Uh, I think if we started with the actual, we'd have too many unknowns. Let's start with the um, isentropic. Isentropic conservation of energy equation isentropic conservation of energy equation the work actual there's no q uh, equals m dot h2 actual minus h1 plus v2 squared minus v1 squared over 2 all right so i've got the work actual the h actual we're going to use this no sorry 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 this is actual or isentropic or isentropic. Let's do isentropic first because we have this H2 isentropic. Use that to get the mass flow rate. All right, sorry. Work isentropic, H2 isentropic. Work isentropic was 6.494 megawatts. Uh, I'm going to do 6... 6494 kilowatts. Um, I'm putting a negative right there because uh, you get work out of a turbine, right? You get work out of a turbine. Um, I think if you didn't have that negative, you're, you're, you'd get a, ma a negative mass flow rate, and so you would have you would have seen that it needed to be positive. Equals m dot. All right, H two S twenty four sixty six point six thirty four eleven point four plus 75 squared over 2. I've got to divide that by 1,000 minus 45 squared over 2 divided by 1,000 to get my units to work out. There we go. I would get a mass flow rate of 6.886 kilograms per second. That is part A. That's the mass flow rate. Now that I know that, let me do conservation of energy actual to get the... H2 actual, with the H2 actual, I can get the, I think it's asking for the temperature actual. All right, work actual, M dot H2 actual minus H1, V2 squared over, minus V1 squared over 2. Now, uh, sometimes I think, uh, sometimes there's like a velocity actual and a velocity isentropic, or sometimes there's a mass flow rate actual, mass flow rate isentropic, um, for this one, we're with no other information. We have to assume that, that these are the same, uh, whether it's isentropic or actual. Uh, all right, the work actual was 5,000 kilowatts. M dot 6.886 kilograms per second. H2A minus 34.11.4. 75 squared over 2, 45 squared over 2, divided by 1,000 uh, to get H2 actual 2683.5 kilojoules per kilogram. And so with that and the fact that I know the pressure is at 100 kPa, two pieces of information for what was the steam, I can go to property tables, to get anything I want, right? I can go to property tables, 
Uh, is this superheated? Is this a mixture? I could find the um, T2 actual 103.7 degrees C. Whew. Okay? All right, for these problems, be able to handle property tables. Like if right, this one was steam, right? We were looking at um, the property tables to get H, things like that. Uh, but if this was air, if this was an ideal gas, um, we have you know different equations for ideal gases to find the temperature isentropic, the temperature actual, um, delta H, you know, sometimes Cp delta T for ideal gases. Um, you know, it's, it's tough, right? But look back through your notes, be able to handle turbines, compressors, nozzles, uh, any, any steady flow device that I could throw at you. And it might be an ideal gas, it might be um, steam or refrigerant like this one, okay? All right, good luck.